Saturday, March 4th, Bushnell High. Detention. Five students enter with absolutely nothing in common, but by sunset, they will be changed forever. I want to congratulate you for being on time. Excuse me, I think there's been a mistake. I mean, I know this is a retro parody show, but I don't think I belong here. We're gonna try something a little different. Since you all like playing video games so much, today, you're gonna write a review. Is this a test? You will not speak, move, or sleep. That way, maybe you can find out something about yourself. Excuse me, sir. I write reviews all the time, and I haven't managed to learn much. Sit down, Sessler. Thank you, sir. My office? Right across that hall. Any monkey business is ill-advised. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Does Gunpei Yokoi know that you raid his wardrobe? <laughs> Who? He invented the Game Boy. So you like to play games, boy. Let's play a little game. It's called Russian Roulette. You first. You think I won't? I think you're a gutless turd. Do it! I want to see how tough you are. This one bullet crap. <laughs> three bullets. I want three bullets. One, two, three. Oh, so you really are a tough guy, huh? I won't do it. No! Ah! Ow. <laughs> so you do like games. You'll love my review. Tecmo succumbs to the man by bringing us Tecmo Classic Arcade, all in a neat little package so those pompous, selfish, doofish pigs from the 80s can look back on their lame little childhoods and remember when everything was, oh, gumdrops and lollipops and puffy little white clouds. F that. I hate nostalgia. It reeks of greed and money and principles and education and government intrusion. And I hate it all. Oh, well, this game's got Swimmer. I love Swimmer. All those dweebs and wasteoids got into hoity-toity frogger bull crap, but Swimmer was one of those on the outside looking in. We went under the logs like true outcasts, not over them. I hate Frogger. Strato Fighter was trying to be like Defender, like Pretty in Pink was trying to be some kind of wonderful. You could totally see the difference. I hate everybody. Oh, Bomb Jack. Yeah, you know a teacher came up with this one. It looks fun, but then they try to slip history lessons into it. Oh, yeah, like we're supposed to know that this is Egypt, or Rome, or Shermer, Illinois. Who cares? Star Force was trying to be that game that ate all the nerds' quarters down at the pizza place. Yeah, I kicked that guy's ass. Then I laughed in his face. Then I ate his pizza. And then I slept with his girlfriend. And then I got a burning sensation in my scrotum. Don't you understand my pain? Tecmo Bowl was probably the most popular game here. You can pretend you're a superficial jock by playing football. Yay! Touchdown! Go team go! Go team go! Oh, you'll never do anything after high school football except work in a gas station, but today you scored! Yay! Tecmo Cup was for soccer fans, or what I called them, pussies. I shouldn't forget about pinball action. Like this could ever replace the romantic notion of true pinball. You know, my dad used to take me to the arcade and we'd 
play some pinball before he got so drunk and beat my mom and gave me emotional trauma, the kind of trauma I've been whining about for years. Oh, hey, there's Pleiades. Yeah, I don't know what it means, but I bet it's Swahili for a cheap Galaga ripoff. Throw in Rygar, which was serviceable, and some other games that remind me of other more popular games, and that's pretty much what Techno Classic Arcade has to offer. So, for this lazy, quickie video game package put together for a quick buck, I give Tecmo Classic Arcade two teenage pseudo-rebellious attitudes out of five. Yeah, I'd give it one, but that's what you'd expect, isn't it? And I never do what's expected, because that's how I roll. That review sucked, Pierre. Next time I come in here, I'm loading six bullets. Coming up. Yeah. The Breakfast Club takes a lunch break. It's sushi. Midnight. G4. You know, standard lunch. Soup. Apple juice. PB and J with the crust cut off? I'm allergic to crust. Here's my impression of life at Big Adam's house. Oh, son. Yeah, dad? How's about a game of Oregon Trail? Oh, gee, Dad, but I've got homework. That's all right, son. It's educational. <laughs> all right, what about your family? Mine? Yeah. Oh, that's real easy. <laughs> you lazy, no good Nintendo playing, freeloading <laughs> sucker with a and hard on for a bitch named Zelda. Oh yeah? What about you, huh? What games do you play, Dad? Space War. No, Dad. What about you? Space War. No, Dad. What about you? <laughs> it's kind of a weird conversation to have. Bull, it's all part of your image. I don't believe a word of it. You don't believe me? No. No? Did I stutter? You believe this? <laughs> yeah, it's about the size of an Atari cartridge, huh? Do I stutter? See, that's what you get in my house when you beat your old man's high score in Gravatar. <laughs> <laughs> Said that. How was I supposed to know? Just read your review. I hate you, Dad! Welcome to the wonderful world of Midway Classic Arcade 1, 2, and 3. A total of 50 games between the three. Let's do this! Lame, ass, and kill, and kill, and kill! Sucks eggs. More like Pussy Boy. Would Pussy Boy deliver balls? Meh. Okay. Suck. Your intensity is for Stupid, lame, weak, stupid, weak, lame, wet and lame, awesome. Named after your mom's glow, rock, stupid, boobs. It's like your mom, long, boring, and a slut. Sweet, and kill, and kill, and kill, and kill. Sucks. Next. Ninja robots. Toasty. Pig. Take that, Mom. Lame. Monkey. Twice as lame. What the f Yes. No. Weak. Stupid. OK. Still sucks. What the? Wait, I didn't say anything. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And Shubert, X play high rules. So in conclusion, if your old and retarded Midway brings back the games you grew moldy with in one and two, while sticking old racing crap in three. That's why I'm giving Midway Arcade one a three, two a three, and three a two out of five. Bitch. Stick 
around. Adam gets sure. emotional. F you. F you. <laughs> Go Sonic Riders! Intense air action, insane multiplayer battles. It's a pure adrenaline rush. Who needs wheels when you've got air? Sonic Riders. In stores now. Try to keep up. Rated E for everyone. Excuse me, gorgeous. Can I get it to What do you say? If you are one of them. Or. So, what's gonna happen to us? I mean, I consider you guys my friends, and you, you guys are my friends, right? You want the truth? Yes, I want the truth. No. Gee, thanks. Adam, I can't be friends with everybody. You don't know the pressure I'm under. I don't understand pressure. <laughs> you! <laughs> you! <laughs> you know why I'm here? Do you? I found a gun in my locker. Why did you have a gun in your locker? Parents are always on my case. You always play games all the time, so why can't you make them? I programmed this pawn game with the paddle it was supposed to bleed. But blooped. Blooped. Killing yourself is not an option. Yeah, man, you know, we've all felt alone. But we're here for you. Yes! Kill myself? Well, I wasn't gonna kill myself. I actually had a detailed plan to kill everyone in the school. Let me show you. See, the bomb was gonna go off here, which would flush the students down this hallway to the underground spike pit I had dug. And that's filled with deadly ass. I put a couple of grenades in, and then I'd spend the rest of the time picking off students one by one. Now, of course, everyone would try to go to the doors, but I had locked them ahead of time. It's kind of cute you guys would think I would kill myself, so I'll let you live and go ahead and write that review. Taito is a Japanese company started by a Russian man in Japan in 1953. Despite being a collaboration between a former and current enemy of America, they have made some games, both good and bad. I would like to share my opinions with you. The most famous game is Space Invaders, where enemies from space invade, and you must stop them. Think of Manifest Destiny. They are America, and you are an Indian, and in five minutes, you are dead. It's not that fun. Another game is Bubble Bobble. This game is fun. You are a dinosaur who blows bubbles and captures creatures in them. Then you pop the bubbles. I know that creatures appeared on Earth millions of years after the dinosaurs, but the game is really fun. The game has a sequel. It involves rainbows. The kids in the remedial classes might like it. Also, there's a game called Elevator Action. You shoot people in a building that want to shoot you. I don't know why, but it's pretty exciting for a level. Most of the other games are not as well known. New Zealand story is about a kiwi bird saving his buddies from a walrus. It's not very realistic. Birds don't wear shoes. Ninja Kids is about some ninjas who are kids and fight the Satan. I don't like the fact that the ninjas don't wear black, but I like how the stuff around them breaks. It's pretty realistic. Many games in this collection look like other, better games. And there's one game called Super Kicks. I don't understand if this is fun or not. Also, the light gun games don't use the light gun. I mean, come on. That's like filling your trapper keeper up with college ruled paper and forgetting your mechanical pencil. While these games are accurate reproductions of the original arcade games, they're not very compelling. Then again, my parents still like to listen to music that doesn't sound like information society. Title Legends gets a three out of five. So, uh, why are you in here? Me? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I shoved a Genesis cartridge up uh, Larry Lester's ass and taped his buns together. <laughs> See, Larry's really hairy, and uh, when they pulled the cartridge out, most of his hair came with it, and uh, some skin, too. Oh, my god. And it also ripped a hole in his descending colon, entering the peritoneal cavity, where it got entangled in his small intestine. When they pulled it out, it, it tore his superior mesenteric artery. And the paramedics, they did all they could. They 
They filled him full of fluids, but there wasn't much they could do. He spent the next five days in a chemically induced coma until an abscess formed around a retained piece of the cartridge and it grew out a resistant strain of bacteria they usually only find in monkeys. And they were forced to do surgical decompression. They moved him to a nursing home four months ago and the doctors say that he's fully aware of his surroundings but he can't move or speak. And the only way he can interact with this environment is by blinking his eyes. And all of that is because of me and my dad. I mean, he just says, you gotta be the best. You gotta win, win, win. Such a dumbass. <laughs> Stay tuned because sex, drugs, and homework are being assigned. She's ready. Has come. On the next attack of this show. Four. I am so glad you're letting me give you a makeover. Hey, look, it's Morgan's review. Ooh. Sonic Gems Review by Morgan Webb, Detention Hall. I was really excited to review Sonic Gems because a game about emeralds sounds like it would actually be interesting. But it turns out this is really about a blue hedgehog with an unhealthy obsession with plain gold rings. Really, if I was gonna have to travel all over the world collecting rings, they'd at least have to have settings and actual gems in them if you expect me to run. Anyway, Sonic Gems is a collection of the best Sonic games of all time that weren't good enough to get into the other collection of the best Sonic games of all time. This explains why the only really good game here is Sonic CD. Some people consider Sonic CD to be the best Sonic game ever, but those people can be safely ignored. It is really good, though, and holds up surprisingly well for a 2D game. We're stuck with the U.S. music, but who wouldn't dig a catchy anthem like Sonic Boom? Sonic the Fighters is a watered-down Virtua Fighter clone that has never been released in America before. Turns out we weren't missing much. But it's weird enough to be interesting for a while. If you've ever wanted to beat up a Sonic character, here's your game. Sonic R is a racing game originally on the Saturn, which means about four people have played it before now. The gameplay is slippery and kind of difficult, but the real draw here is the music. I know, it's no Miami sound machine, but what is? The rest of the games are Game Gear titles that are nice to have as reminders of why we play Game Boys today. Special recognition should be given to Sonic Spinball, which may be the worst version of anything. Ever. In conclusion, Sonic CD is a lot of fun. A couple other games are good distractions, and the rest should probably be put in a video game vault of shame, stacked next to the unsold copies of Bubsy 3D. I give Sonic Gems Collection a three. Out of five. She's ready!
Are you ready? Bring your mouth closer to my Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to devote an entire episode to retro games for whatever reason, but we think you're crazy. Seriously, no one needs to devote an episode to these games. That point aside, what we found out is each gamer inside of us is a brain, an athlete, a kook, a princess, and a TV host. Sincerely, The Breakfast Club. Not another suicide pact. No, 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 no.